Hey guys, so I was watching this Bond marathon the, the other day, and uh, they had my favorite recent 007 movie on there, GoldenEye, with its completely ridiculous plot, awesome assortment of villains, and uh, just, just a really badass coming-of-age movie for me, because it was the first James Bond film I ever saw in theaters, because, I mean, with the, with the writer strike they had, and Timothy Dalton as the previous Bond, God... There wasn't a whole lot for me to look forward to. I mean, I grew up watching, you know, the VHS copies of you know, Roger Moore and Sean Connery and thought these movies are awesome. But um, it didn't feel like something from my generation until I got to see GoldenEye. And then I, then I understood how awesome the series could be. But when I was watching it the other day, I noticed that Bond actually teacups his handguns. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Which, what prop master slash weapons consultant said, hey, you know the, uh, the greatest secret agent of all time? Yeah, he's going to hold his gun like a 1960s FBI training manual. Then again, I guess if you think about the opening scene where Bond turns and shoots, he's shooting from the hip, so maybe it does make sense after all. But anyway, it got me thinking, what, what pistol should Bond replace his now aging Walther P99 with? Now, I know in the newest movie he's going to revert back to a Walther PPK to a more traditional look, but let's assume for a second he's not going to do that. There are a lot of good handguns out there that Bond could choose. I mean, the Glock 19 with a threaded barrel makes an excellent suppressor host. 15 rounds of ammunition. And uh, this, this example actually has elevated iron sights for use with the sound suppressor. I'm sure it's totally out of focus, sorry. And another really, really good choice, and a personal favorite, is the USP 9 Tactical. This model, again, threaded barrel. Raised iron sights, uh, the rear one's adjustable, and um, it's got a decocker that also doubles as a thumb safety on the back, which is awesome for guys like me, who really like, it's clear, who like really, in, who really enjoy the 1911. So we can carry it cocked, locked, ready to rock, or you can decock with that same lever, and then use it as a traditional double single action pistol. But while both these guns are awesome, and I like them both. I like polymer framed handguns in general. I think they're a great idea and a wonderful invention. When it comes to sound suppressor hosts, there are two guns that I think stand above all the, all the rest. The Beretta M9 slash 92 series of handguns, but that weapon's not nearly reliable enough to be Bond's next pistol with its exposed controls and exposed barrel, which can allow dirt, debris, and all kinds of fun stuff in a gun, especially the way that Bond treats his sidearms and equipment. No, I think the, the standard choice of Navy SEALs is a better, better option for Bond. That's right. The Sig Sauer P226. And this model features an extended threaded barrel, Trigicon night sights, and I've got the short trigger. It's clear. The short trigger installed on it, so it's easier to fire with gloved hands. And uh, this weapon is my favorite weapon to fire suppressed. The recoil is almost non-existent with this setup. Because of the aluminum frame and the steel slide, the weapon is, is a bit hefty. Um, it's got the, the new slim grips on it, so it, it, it greatly improves the ergonomics, but still makes it a great sound suppressor host. And uh, this, is one of those, this is one of those guns that I would never give up. Um, it's by my bedside with a 20-round extended magazine, 350 days of the year, basically. The only time it's not next to me is if I'm on the road somewhere where I can't have a, ha a handgun with me. But yeah, I mean, rail dust cover, you can put accessories on it. And uh, this actually, this model right here is a P226-22 Classic and uh, with a 9mm slide on it. Uh, they actually, that, the series they make allows you to convert the 22 to either a 40 or a 9mm safely, which is awesome. Um, I've got slides, barrels, and recoil spring assemblies for all three which makes this weapon even more versatile. So yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely my choice at least. I think it's one hell of a setup. And uh, while the trigger pull is a little tricky in, in double single action, I think when the, uh, when the hammer's cocked at least, it's got a phenomenal, phenomenal pull, which makes me start to uh, drift toward, th I think a better pistol for Bond might be the, uh, the 226 that has the, the thumb safety on it, and that'd make a really good it's a single action only variant. I think that'd be a really, really good choice, especially with a, with a threaded barrel and a sound suppressor. And well, initially you might say, well, that's kind of a heavy gun for Bond to, to carry, or even that's kind of a large gun for him to conceal. And I thought the same thing, but I was watching all the movies and he conceal carries always in a shoulder holster, which is not the best place, especially with 
the majority of Bond's um, fight scenes taking place in close quarters with someone when you're trying to draw from a shoulder holster can simply grab your elbow and then, and then headbutt or, or hit you with his other hand. Uh, but I guess since, since he's James Bond, he's actually immortal, so it doesn't matter anyway. But what do you guys think? I mean, what would be your ideal 007 handgun? What do you think MI6 should issue the 00 agents in the field? Should they all be rocking 32 Beretta Tomcats with sound suppressors? Maybe Mosin Nagant revolvers with uh, sound suppressors? Or, or maybe they should just forgo all of the uh, suppressed work and issue them nothing but 44 mag uh, raging bulls. Tell me what you think in the comment section, and if you want to send me a video, and I can I can put them all together in like a montage or whatever, you should throw on your favorite suit with a, with a bow tie. It'd be badass. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and uh, comment down below about what your favorite Bond pistol is, and uh, give me a subscribe so I can keep providing these videos for you guys. And if there's any other movies you want to see me talk about in terms of what guns were used in the movies or what guns the, the protagonist or maybe the antagonist should be using in future uh, renditions of that movie, shoot me a comment below and I'll do my best to accommodate. Thanks, guys.